Do it. Hey guys, welcome to game. What is this? Five? Game five between Terror and Zeke. I should know. <laughs> like I'm asking you guys, the audience, tell me what game. No. This is going to be game five of set one of Fighting Spirit Mania. Upright in corner, we have Zeke starting as the Teal Zerg. Bottom left in corner, we have Terror starting as the Pink Terran. Every single match has been insane thus far. I feel like this is a testament to. And really, this is kind of what I was expecting. Like, I'm wondering if Zeke will cycle back and show us how brutally strong his ZVT can be. But thus far, it's been a testament to how strong Terrors versus Terran can be. This, however, cross map positions on a four player map where there's decent. Where it's fighting spirit, you know, you, there's a lot of macro you can pull off. I'm wondering if now we're going to see a different result. Cross map positions means there's even further to traverse for Terror, should he want to go ahead and get aggressive. There are more opportunities potentially for Ziki to go ahead and spot armies as they're peeling out. That's one thing that Ziki has not been really diligent on in these previous matches, is keeping an eye on that marine army as it's peeling away while he's been going for those Mutalisk attacks. Oh, this is unfortunate. Ziki opening up for an overpool. Oh, man, I wanted to see the 12 hatch. So he's opening up an overpool on this match. Potentially because he was hoping, like, okay, maybe I can... I don't know. I think he was... looking to mix it up, but... I don't think he's going to get a lot accomplished with this, unfortunately. Uh, or it's just... It's only going to be that economic detriment. SCV Scout making its way bottom right-hand corner. Overlord... Might scout this SCV. So it does see the SCV. Let's see if that drone changes position. It does not... Terra going for that front door seal. In the meantime, double barracks. Or sorry, double supply depot and the barracks. So the drone not going to be able to sneak in and get any information. Zerglings are being produced. Maybe he wants to take out this SCV early. Just try to deny information to Terra from there. Maybe go for something creative. I would love to see some creative builds out of Zeke because I know he's capable of it. What? This Marine, I don't know if Terra wanted that or not, but the Marine glitching through, yeah, <laughs> having to lift off the barracks for a half second, glitching the Marine through the supply depot, that's gotta be frustrating. Zerglings on the hunt. Pressing this SCV all the way back. Towards the bottom left-hand corner of the map, we do see gas already up for Ziki. No movements as of yet to go ahead and go for an early third hatchery. Command center up, engineering bay behind this, and we see an early refinery. So it looks like it is going to be that eBay plus one weapons build. Delay on marine production here to facilitate it. Engineering bay and academy, and oftentimes like a zergling all in right this second can be devastating. So but it looks like that's not going to happen. Drone boxing off. Just pinning that SCV to the wall so the Zergling can go ahead and get that last, last butt munch. The chomp. Chomp. Lair halfway finished. Zerglings grouping up towards the front. Attacking those Zerglings is there. Getting a little... Yeah. Back up Zerglings. Statement right there. Academy finished. Marines being produced again. Lair finished. Ziki grabbing second gas early on. No movements towards... I think he's got a good read on the... Maybe because the Overlord positioning everything else. A good read on the lack of necessity for Sutton Colonies. Again, maybe because of cross-bond positions. Second and third barracks being tacked on. Stimpak being upgraded. Compsat station there. 
Comsat catches the Spire at the second mutation phase. Oops. And it looks like it's going to be an in-base third hatchery for Zeki this time. Hiding this hatchery to the interior. I'm not sure what to call this position, but you can see just hiding it to that corner. That will give him more larva. So going to move more towards three hatch play here. Fourth barracks on the way. Stimpak finished, range being upgraded, plus one weapons. About halfway finished. Another whoops, comsat being dropped in the main. Try to get the spire timing. Sees it just finished. So knows that turrets to start being placed right about now. And we see already a turret at the natural expansion. Smaller groupings of medic marines with this build to start, but the number is going to increase rapidly. Plus one weapons being upgraded. And it looks like we are going to see Milosks at that six, entering the base at around that six minute, 30 second mark. Ziki taking a hatchery in the bottom right hand base rather than that three o'clock location at the natural. Kind of an odd decision. Oftentimes you'll see it taken, maybe this suggests that he wants to play it more mutilisk heavy here in the early game. Which is why he has the third hatchery alongside. And he's going to need to because yeah, he's not... Up here you'd have the ramp to play, place the lurkers. Here he needs to make sure he maintains map control. Mutilisk pressing through with the zerglings. The zerglings actually able to sneak past help take that turret down. Medic Marines pressing forward. Game of cat and mouse here. That Overlord taken out, putting Zeki in the red. A potentially a critical moment here. More Marines grouping out. And now, yeah, Terra's got a... Has more comfort in his position. As he's got the Medic Marines pushing the field. And Zeki's got to feel uncomfortable with this hatchery right there in the bottom right. Hasn't been scouted yet, though. Mule's taking a good amount of damage. Their number's increasing. Double Creek Colony being dropped on the front. We do have... Lurker Tech being evolved. You can just see where, the, yeah, the distance on the map playing a big factor here. Larger distances mean there's more opportunity for Ziki to allow his Mutalisks to do work, and particularly because they had to cross this cross-field mid-position with all of these doodads. Have this nice wall to run across and pick off stragglers. Ooh. Missing it right there, and you can just see Ziki abusing this. This almost feels like a like a gladiator pit, except the mutalisks, I guess, would be the audience. They're able to toss spears. Bad metaphor. <laughs> Marines going ahead and checking the upper left, trying to drop Comsat to find an additional base that might have been taken somewhere out in the field. More Medic Marines marching across in an, a good-sized bundle to have an overwhelming force to potentially engage these Mutalisks. Getting a lot of damage done. Zeke picking off one Marine as he can. You can see him nervous about this ramp, trying to defend it. Is able to get a critical Medic, though, as it was lagging behind. Zeke's Mutalisk Micro. Been amazing here. Lurkers burrowing bottom right. I think Terra realizing the defensive posture is like, ah, there's your base. But scouting just to see Lurker burrow. But Zeki taking the risk with this natural means he's got four bases secured here. And again, I feel like cross map positions may be playing a large factor. Oop. Mules getting caught with their pants down right there, eating a lot of damage. Factory going to be able to provide scouting information as to the mutilist position. Kind of curious if with, so you got all these uh, just scouting to the north. In the meantime, natural expansion taking some damage, able to take out a turret right there. Marines pushing in. Terror in a pretty good economic position though. Waiting on the double starport. He does have irradiate about halfway finished. 
having trouble getting some units to that back edge. Oh, Mutalus getting caught. Nice trap there by Terror. Pocketing those medic marines to the 6 o'clock location to find the Mutalus as they were looking for respite. Only... So six Mutalus uh, remaining, but two of them heavily damaged. Drones transferring to the bottom right. Looks like they are going to be able to do so. SCV maybe going to scout it. Some Zerglings running across. Bonus medic kill. But things settling. The science vessel starting to take the field. Lurkers are in position. Queen's Nest is there. Hive tech on the way now for Zeki. But he does have three bases. He's got his three gas. He's got his lurkers. And a pretty well established defense. It'll be tough now for Terra to crack. Two additional barracks being tacked on as I believe Terra kind of recognizing that the situation you know, well, in it for the long haul. Factory taking some damage. Going to the red. Terra will need to rebuild that. Eventually we'll burn. It'll burn. But huge group surrounding. And a radiate and again, yeah, you can just see Terror just keeps the Marines close. Four Mutals remain. They're going to go ahead and fly back to home base, but that threat has mostly been mitigated for Terror. Now starting to group up and just look at all the pink streaming to the bottom right. Moving all sorts to the bottom right. Dropping some comsat, seeing what he's up against. Scourge able to take out one science vessel, the second science vessel. Able to hold a radiate on the overlord. Some Zerglings actually taking some irradiation damage as they're hiding underneath there. More Scourge. Produce not quite able to land. Zerglings may be looking for a run-by. And Terra loading up two dropships. They're headed for the main. A hatchery being placed right there. So he's got Zeki boxed into the bottom right. Needs to get some economic damage done down. Uh, needs to do something here to slow Zeki down. To file the mound up, Zerglings look like... So this overlord spotting the dropships. Zerglings in position but not as the units are unloading. Single Lurker burrowing. You can see them just hugging that Defiler Mound. Attack on the front simultaneously. Science Vessel's getting wiped out. Zeki actually with a solid defense. Some medics wandering too far back behind the line. Three something colonies currently holding. He's gonna have to reposition though. Some drones getting wiped out near the main and it might be too much. Three something colonies down, Overlords getting wiped out. Lurker is not quite in position to defend the entirety of the line here. So with a nice two-pronged attack, is he going to be able to take out this hatchery? Able to get some economic damage done, but I don't know that it's going to be sufficient. Needs this hatchery now. 69, 15, 4, 0! Takes out the hatchery at the natural expansion. So where he wasn't able to get a lot of damage done in the main by forcing an attack at the natural expansion, splitting Zeki's defenses, able to force units up and take that hatchery out. So effectively going to be more like a two base play. Dropships looking to drop in the main in that bottom right hand corner. Thinking better of it, lurkers, lings, trying to counterattack. Overwhelming amount of lurkers here in the middle and as I say that, they get wiped out by the Medic Marines. Dropships continuing to move. Looks like they're going to go replant at the main. Go for another attack. But Scourge. Terror anticipating it, though. Unloading and stimming. Able to wipe them out. Command Center was floating. It wanted to drop at the 9 o'clock location. But a single Zergling there. And more Zerglings flooding in to go ahead and slow that down.
Terra looks like he wants to go for another two-pronged attack. There's only a single Scourge maybe to defend here. Not quite the same size of attack force, and there's a lot of Lurkers this time. Zergling's Defiler's Scourge right on top of this. So very quickly, look like they're going to be able to mitigate, well, potentially mitigate this attack. There's also something calling me there already. The rest of the base is being cleared out, and now Terror... He took out that natural expansion, but might be in a spot of trouble. There's a lot of Zerglings that are preventing... What is this command that are doing? It's just right out in the middle of the map. Is he just going to drop in the middle? Go for that double gas there? Terra still with the supply lead. Plus two weapons, plus one armor. Zeke's been sitting on three gas. Now getting that Ultralis Cavern. The medic marine count has been small. Battlecruiser is taking the field. Defiler is sneaking through the Nidus Canal. One of them sneaking through this ni the Nidus Canal. It's funny. I'm like, what are these two medics doing down here? Hydro is being produced on location. Not going to be long for life. That's going to force a lot of gas out. The command center now being spotted in the middle of the map. I think Terra playing a goofy game at this stage. Drones getting wiped out bottom right. Ziki down to just 19 drones. SCV's distance mining the middle. Like, okay, you're going to box out six. You're going to box out nine. You're going to box out the upper left. I'll just take the middle of the map. Distance mine from there. Medic Marines dropping. And it looks like, I think, dropping. I don't see how they would have gotten back here otherwise. Now pressing going to wipe out that base, and it looks like it's going to be another win for Terror at this stage of things, and potentially a GG for the first set. Yep. So set one goes to Terror. And some very exciting matches. The last one looking a bit sloppy on both ends. Both the entertaining attempt of a uh, take of a command center in the middle of the map. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.